Hello, and welcome to Kingdom Come Deliverance. I'm going to show you how to kill the first Cuman. If you don't know who that is, it's this man here, stalking you, Michael Myers. Um, but yeah, basically, I'll show you what you don't want to do. You don't want to fight him fairly. And this is what I mean by fight him fairly, actually get in combat with him. Because he will wipe the floor with you. As he actually knows how to fight, and you don't. And, as you see, he basically demolishes us. And, of course, uh, we don't actually know how to block yet. We only know the basic block, which doesn't work very well. So, what you want to do is actually cheat. You do not want to fight this man fairly at all. So basically, what you want to do is you do not want to get the combat interface with him. Uh, what I did was go back to this open area back here, and then, basically, you look away from him as you start your attack, and then as it comes down, as the blow comes down, you look straight at him, and it usually hits him. Sometimes it misses, but more than off, more, more often than not, you actually hit him. English is difficult, okay, guys? Anyway, he usually takes uh, seven or eight hits, not much more than that. It depends really where you hit him. If you hit him in the arms, he takes left. Hit him on the head, he takes more. As long as you don't actually get the combat interface with him, he has no chance of blocking it. And there you go. It's quick mercy killing. And ta-da! You've killed your first human, and you're officially a murderer. Your mother would be proud. It's for you, Sir Radzig, watching me from that balcony. Okay, and then, now you've killed your first human. You can disguise as him. And now, Cumans sacking scallets will just assume you're another Cuman. I'll just stick this all on quick and show you what I mean in a second. So basically, they completely blank you, they just assume you're another Cuman wandering around and not Hal the Blacksmith's son. Um, I will say though that these three here, harassing Teresa, do actually realise there's something wrong about you. Whether they realise you're not a human or not, I don't know, but they do attack you after a while. And another thing, don't actually try and fight these three. It's probably doable, you probably can kill them, but for me, I couldn't, and don't expect the tactic to work on them. It only seems to work one on one, not one on three. Now, the unfortunate bit is it doesn't actually appear in the cutscenes. Um, regardless of what clothes you're wearing, you don't actually change these cutscenes. Which is a bit disappointing. Tired and hungry. <laughs> the only cutscene you're any different in is the one when you meet song. Lady After Stephanie in the kitchens and of course our beloved Regina. Right. Now unfortunately there is no unique dialogue with Lady Stephanie about how you escaped Scalettes. And the good news is when you return to Scalettes you do actually get to keep the outfit. And if you're worried I'm going to use this tactic during the rest of my playthrough, I'm not going to, don't worry. And if you haven't seen my playthrough I'd recommend you watch it because I've been an idiot not to recommend it. Um, and if you want to see more future content like this, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and I will hopefully see you next time.